Hi, I'm Mike Standis of Ever 20th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Grant Dewey and Brian Vapor from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Uh, gentlemen, thanks for being here. Uh, Grant, let's start with you. Uh, fairly good week for Muni's. Uh, yields uh, trended down really throughout the week. What was driving that? I, mean, I think most people expected that as we got through uh, November here and we had the election week and now a holiday week uh, next week, uh, that we would have less supply and that would kind of help stabilize uh, uh, Muni prices, which it did. So. I, I think for the month, Brian will get into this, but I think we're only looking at about 17 uh, billion for the month of November and October was over 65 billion. So obviously a big, uh, big difference there, much more uh, favorable technicals. Uh, we, uh, treasuries rallied anywhere from seven to 10 basis points along the curve and, and munis held suit. They, um, uh, they, they outperformed treasuries on the week. Uh, we had the news last night on the on the uh, uh, municipal liquidity facility, and and I think you know that's been a I think a very positive. Uh, it's had a very positive impact on the market. I mean, clearly liquidity has returned uh, for the vast number of issuers. Uh, this was always meant to be a relatively expensive kind of uh, you know lender of last resort. Only two issuers have had to. Um, to access or have chosen to access the MLF. And um, so that's going to sunset as it was scheduled to do at the end of December. Uh, you know, I think it adds a little bit of, um, I think it's more of a psychological thing um, than anything. And, uh, you know, I think uh, confidence is a very tricky thing. And, and just the existence of that facility, I think, had a, had a strong impact on our market. So. Um, and uh, so we'll see what happens there. But, um, but you know, all in all, another strong week for me. Yeah, I know one analyst uh, compared it to taking the training wheels off that, uh, you know, that now the market doesn't have that backstop and we'll have to see uh, how it goes. On the flip side, uh, Secretary Mnuchin uh, was on CNBC and in his letter um, did raise the possibility that the $500 billion uh, that the Treasury contributed to the Fed as an equity contribution uh, could be reprogrammed into grants. Uh, either for expanding stimulus to individuals or even state and local governments. Um, long path for that to happen. It would have to be approved by Congress, but uh, uh, that money isn't necessarily being used in the MLF, so potentially it could do uh, other uh, good things to the economy. So we'll watch and see how that evolves in the next couple of months. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, the intention has been, uh, you know, there needs to be a fiscal solution to all of this, and so hopefully we'll see more of that. Great. So, Brian, let's talk about the new issue market. As we said, this was the uh, the last busy week uh, for this uh, month. Uh, how did things play out? Yeah, a very healthy week. Uh, actually exceeded some expectations um, going back to uh, estimates from last week. I think the market was expecting probably plus or minus $12 billion, uh, and we ended up uh, north of $13.5 So you had some uh, some refunding deals that maybe you know got pushed uh, at the beginning of this month uh, or an end of uh, end of October when rates were a little bit higher. You know maybe the refunding targets weren't getting hit and didn't make sense. The leg down in in yields uh, and, and performance in munis that you know that definitely helped bring some stuff back to the market. You had some uh, slight upsizes uh, like MassGO sold more bonds based on strong performance. Um, so really, you know, uh, a very, uh, a very solid market. Obviously, the big focus was on New Jersey Geo and Mass Geo, both of which did very well, uh, you know, for different reasons. New Jersey just offering a lot of yield and spread um, and Mass just uh, looking attractive uh, in the high grade space. So both of those deals performed very well. And I think that gave uh, the market a little bit of additional confidence um, that Grant was talking about, um, you know, seeing uh, yield spreads, uh, uh, spreads, and uh, and and talk come down on uh, a name like uh, over three billion New Jersey bonds coming to market definitely uh, helps confidence um, in, in the broader market in general. So um, you know over ten billion of the supply was tax exempt, so that was pretty healthy as well. Um, and overall, the market just performed uh, performed very well. Um, but uh, but for for BAM, we had a very solid week, over $525 million, uh, in par priced. Uh, we had a handful of larger deals that were driving that. Um, Paramount USD was priced by Piper, uh, Piper Sandler. Uh, that's a AA3 uh, underlying credit. That was about $113 million. Um, in the competitive space, uh, BAM was selected by Citigroup uh, when they purchased the Florida International University deal. 
which was on 18 hour notice for the last uh, three or four weeks. Uh, and that came into the market. That underlying rating is AA3, A, A plus, and was about 71 million. Uh, RBC priced a taxable Reading, Pennsylvania deal with an underlying rating of triple B plus. Uh, and uh, DA Davidson priced a, a $27 million deal for Martinez USD in California, uh, which carries a double, uh, a double A2 underlying rating. Uh, so again, you know, very solid um, underlying rating story. About 240 million or so uh, of the bonds we insured this week carried at least one double A category rating, whether that was double A3, double A2 by Moody's or double A minus by S&P. So again, despite yields coming down uh, and the market performing really well, we continue to see this post COVID uh, benefit of insurance where uh, even on higher quality bonds, uh, insurance is still making a lot of sense. So uh, really strong week overall. Yeah, and that's really been the story of the year. Through the first nine months, BAM's uh, activity on uh, AA underlying transactions was up uh, more than 100%. It was like 164% year over year. So uh, interesting to see that trend continuing as uh, we go into what's potentially, I, I guess, a third wave. Um, for the next week, uh, Thanksgiving's coming up. Very little new issue activity. Uh, uh, anything you're watching, Brian? Yeah, it's, uh, next week will be really quiet. I think the headline number for supply is uh, is just over a billion, maybe a billion three. Um, you know, the JFK Terminal Four deal is going to be leading the pack there at about three hundred and forty million, um, which carries I think uh, BAA one, triple B plus underlying ratings. Uh, there's going to be a few. Uh, I think it's three or four larger PSF deals in Texas that are going to add up to over four hundred million. So. Nearly most of the calendar um, is accounted for just in, uh, in a handful of names. Uh, on the competitive side, very quiet. Monday, Tuesday is really the only days anything is going to get done, and, and that total supply is, uh, is probably under $250 million or so. So uh, very quiet week for, uh, for Thanksgiving, and, uh, and hopefully we'll have one or two more busy weeks uh, once we get into December. Um, but uh, you know, with visible supply, the 30-day visible where it is, uh, you know, it really uh, doesn't feel like December is going to be, um, you know, uh, really all that busy. Uh, but you know, we may we may get a a decent week uh, after uh, after the Thanksgiving holiday, and then uh, and then maybe it starts to quiet down a little bit through the end of the year. Very good. Well, we'll be off next week. Uh, BAM's offices will be closed on Friday, so we'll uh, take a pause on the weekly update videos. Uh, we'll be back in December and uh, pick up and see how the uh, calendar is shaping up then. Thanks, gentlemen. Thanks a lot, Mike. Thanks, Mike. market is unpredictable, BAM gives you certainty. In the face of market volatility and illiquidity, BAM insured municipal bonds deliver default protection, value preservation, and a durable AA rating from S&P. BAM's insurance protects against everything that causes a default, and adding BAM insured municipal bonds to your portfolio is easy. Talk to your investment advisor, visit buildamerica.com, or look for BAM eligible bonds on the Perform Portfolio Management System. BAM. Build America Mutual.